Hey guys, this is Christopher with another FreeCAD tutorial, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use the loft function in the part design workbench of FreeCAD. So unlike the first two extrudes I showed, this one requires more than one sketch before you can use the operation. So go ahead and create a body, and inside the body we'll create a sketch. This is our first sketch, and we'll just put it in the XY plane here. Um, now, I'm just going to create a circle here. I'm not going to bother defining it. That's not really important for what we're trying to do here. But normally, you would create a defined sketch. So there's our first sketch. Um, and our second sketch... Um, there's a couple of different things we could do. If we go ahead and create a new sketch, we could either create one that's another plane that's parallel to it and loft between two parallel planes or loft between two planes that aren't parallel. Uh, first, I'll show you how to do two planes that aren't parallel, uh, which I'll just select the XZ plane here and hit OK. So our second sketch, I'll make a square right there, or a rectangle. I'm not going to bother defining that one either, but normally you would. So now we have our two sketches, and what the loft tool is going to do is basically connect them together in an extrude. So here it is. Um, Actually, if you start off with none of your sketches selected and you click it, then it'll ask you to select one. Uh, in this case, it doesn't matter which one you start with. I'd hit OK, and then click on Add Section, and click on this other one. Now, you can see here, it creates quite a solid. Um, here's the second sketch we made, the rectangle, and here's the first one we made, the circle. And in between them, it's kind of a rectangle and a circle. It's hard to describe what it's doing here, but it blends the two shapes into one in this operation. So our surfaces on the ends are at 90 degrees from each other because um, the planes that we started in were 90 degrees from each other. You could do the same operation like this, but you could have your planes parallel to each other, and then you could have a circle in the bottom and a square on the top instead of on the side. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do next. I'm going to delete the loft and the second sketch, but we still have this first sketch here. Now in order to get a parallel plane to this sketch, um, first we need to make a plane um, that's in the same plane, or a sketch that's in the same plane. So right here in the XY again, um, we have a plane, you can't see it here unless I put, say, a rectangle right there. Now you can see they're in the same plane, so you can't really loft the two shapes together because there's no distance between them. But in order to move this rectangle up, we need to go into another workbench. So right now we're in part design. I'm going to head over to the part workbench real quick. Uh, there's a whole new set of tools here. I'll get into those in a later tutorial. But this one right here creates primitive shapes. Basically just simple ones. There's box, cylinder, cone sphere, and all these. Uh, the plane is the one we want right here. And the size doesn't really matter right now. But create and close. And now we can go back over to the part design. So now we have this plane here. Um, a plane is different than a sketch. Um, a plane is an object, a sketch isn't. But you can't move a sketch around, but you can move a plane around. So that's what we're going to do with this plane. So with it selected over here, under the placement and under the position, we have our X, Y, and Z position. If we make Z 1, um, then it'll move it up. 
and now we can see the plane is one inch above our other two sketches. Now we need to move this rectangle up to the same plane as the plane up here. And in order to do that, we'll have to use the map function. So first select the face that you want to move the sketch to, and then click on the map function. It's asking which sketch we want to move, and we want to move sketch 001, which is our square sketch. And hit OK. Now it wants to know which face to mount it to, and we want this one, which is the one we have um, currently selected. Hit OK. And now it moves the rectangle up so that they're in the same plane. Now we've done everything we need to do with the plane. Uh, if you come over here and click on it here and hit the space bar, then it'll hide, and you can hit the space bar again to toggle visibility. But we don't need it anymore, so I'm just going to leave it hidden. Now we have our two sketches, and they are parallel from each other instead of being uh, perpendicular from each other, and we're ready to loft again. So, select one of the sketches, and then add section and do the second one. Okay, and we have a different loft here. And now it's between two parallel sketches instead of perpendicular ones. But it's really doing the same thing here. It starts as a circle and then it ends up as a rectangle. And in the middle, it's a complicated shape. I can actually show you what the shape looks like, the cross section of it, um, by creating another sketch on the on a new plane on the XY plane here creating a rectangle and removing material from this so let's remove half an inch oops um, must be in the wrong direction We reverse there we go so we reversed the extrude hit okay now we got rid of half of it and this is what it looks like halfway up the loft you can see it's got part of the circle in it but it also has corners like a rectangle so it's a pretty interesting tool um, I don't use it very often it's kind of a unique um, tool only use it for specific things but when you need it you really need it because there's no other tool that can do what this does so I hope this tutorial was very useful to you and I hope you learned how to use the loft tool in FreeCAD if it if you did um, please like and subscribe